Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's talk about named routes um, when we use navigation. So when you have your web app, your mobile application, sometimes you want to be able to, well, usually um, remember where is what, what is where. So where is the first screen? How do I actually point to that? Where's the second screen? How do I actually point to that? So you want to have an easy way of remembering and organizing. How do you refer to each screen if your application has many different screens, right? So you would use what we call a named route. It's built in again to material app. And the initial route is where, when you open up the material app, where is it going to first open up? Okay. Then we, the next one is routes and we're going to have to def define what these mean. They have to start with slash something forward slash. You can't just put any character inside of here. Okay. So you, I've tried that. You, you, you have to start with a slash slash something following it um, in and of itself. And these all have to be unique. So it would be slash something and then colon. And then it's going to be context. And it's an anonymous function right here, right? So what is this? This is a map, right? So we have key and um, value right inside here. So what we will do is we will access the routes through here in order to get through here, okay? So let's go through it. First screen, and we've done all this before. Here is something new. On pressed navigator.push named, okay? So push named context comma, and this is the name of the route where you want to go. So it's going to push it to this particular area itself, not just push to a new object, right? It's going to push it right here every single time. And that's going to lead us to right here. Um, same thing with this second screen. I'm going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to have two raised buttons. So there's going to be a co new column. Let's click on it a new column, and there's going to be two raised buttons. There we go. Um, on pressed of the first one, it's going to say, go to first screen right here. It's going to be push named, and it's going to go back to the slash, the single slash, which is going to be right here, which is going to be the same thing. Um, at, but the second one, it's going to be go back. So it's going to be a pop. Okay. So again, um, Hitting this one, that is sort of like going to a web page and you're clicking a link that goes to one site and it keeps going back and forth. But you can always hit the back button on the website, right? Or web application. Go back is as if you just hit the web app, hit the um, go back button. So you notice that? So go to second screen, go to first screen, and these things are still there. Okay. Now again, go to second screen go back. So that's the difference. Remember, one sends you back and forth, which is the push named or push. The pop says just use the back button and going back to the original object. Okay, this is important because if you think about what's actually happening here, um, in so far, the way in which we've made it, if you click here, and you click here, and you click here, how many objects, how many screens are we actually having here? Every time you click on a new one, it goes here and it creates a new first screen, a new second screen. So what we're doing is we're creating lots of different screens here. We don't see them. They're all in memory, but we're creating lots of these little screens right inside of here. So that can be a problem, right? And plus, what if we have like the very first screen that we created? Let's keep going back right here. What if we had a stateful widget right inside of here, and then we went to the second one, and then we went to the next one? This would not have the same state as the first screen, which is two screens back, right? Because this is a whole new different screen altogether. So we do have to, sometimes we have to instantiate this later. So what we could have done is, um, let's just make it simple, um, first equals new first screen. So we could have done this, of course. And then it would have been first, we could have done that. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the best way to do something like this. But this is the point of it itself. And so if you go to the first screen, it's going to keep pointing back 
to this object in and of itself, which is instantiated only once. But but um, the, the purpose of my saying this, again, I'm not sure if this is the best way to do this. We'll have to learn that more in the future. But all I'm just saying is that remember what we're actually doing here. We're not actually creating with the same screen because we don't, because I'm not showing you and I'm not showing myself any statefulness to make it easy. But, but at the same time, these are not the same screens, even though they look the same altogether. Okay. Um, I hope that made sense. Let's keep going. I think we have a few more things to do with navigation. Thanks.